Here's a really cool puzzle. There are some eights in the plane. Show that they are countably many. Despite this seemingly simple puzzle statement, this is a really hard problem. Some quick clarifications. 1. Eights do not overlap. Tangents are okay though. 2. Eights can be inside of other eights without restriction. 3. The lines of the eights have zero width. They are one-dimensional, that is, they have no area. Now prove that the eights in the plane are countably many. This puzzle statement might sound a bit strange. Let's break it down. We have previously seen that sets can be countable or uncountable. Countable infinity. An infinite set which can literally be systematically counted. Let's call it. So the reals must be uncountable. For example, the integers are countable since we can systematically count through them. We say there exists a map from the integers to the natural numbers. This is not the case for, for example, the real numbers. No such mapping exists. We say that the set of real numbers is uncountable. Now we have been given a different, kind of strange set. Not a set of numbers, but of items. A set of figure eights in the 2D plane. Our task is to somehow prove that this set is countable that there exists a mapping from the figure eights to the natural numbers. We don't know much about this set. It might be a single eight, in which case it is obviously countable, one, but it might also be something very complicated. We have to prove that it is always countable. I found this problem scribbled on a note at my local math department. And at this point, I started asking myself, is this statement even true? After quite a long time, I managed to convince myself that it was, but I still found it very tricky to prove formally. Until I found a very elegant solution. If you think you have a solution, consider what your reasoning would do if instead of eights, we considered circles. Would your proof still work? Should it still work? Can you figure it out? I'll share the beautiful solution in my next video. If you need a hint, I recommend looking back at my last video, which covers countability and different types of infinity. Or perhaps you'd like to try another puzzle. Thanks for watching, and happy thinking.